Hey, Steve here for Furnace USA, and what should you consider when you are buying a new air conditioner? So there's obviously a number of things that you need to worry about that you need to consider when you're looking for a new AC, but the big ones, of course, are the price, right? So there is a huge range of price depending on what contractors um, you're going with. So. Um, for the exact same unit, uh, you know, an air conditioner can range thousands of dollars in price. And some things go into that. So sometimes contractors um, charge too much money because they, they really don't want any more work and they just throw out some quote, uh, you know, uh, to almost push work away, which is kind of silly. Um, other contractors are, um, you know, they might not know what they're doing and they're just lowballing the price just to get the job and kind of get into it. So um, a lot of times, you know, in various different ways, you almost want to throw at the top price and throw at the bottom price because there might be issues with it. So what you'll find, let's say you get five quotes, right? So you get five people that come to your place uh, and they write you out a quote and they spend an hour and they analyze your system and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you get five different quotes. So you throw at the top one, you throw at the bottom one, you're left with three quotes, which are relatively similar. So those are probably the ones that you're gonna to wanna to go with. From there, I would be checking different stuff. You're gonna to wanna to make sure they're certified and bonded, and all, the, all the obvious stuff that you're gonna to wanna to look at for a company. Um, I think the most important thing, I think by far the most important thing, is, is how you feel dealing with that company, right? When you interact with the company, whether it's on their website or whether it's in person, or whether it's through videos like this, it's it's what is your intuitive gut about uh, how good that contractor is gonna be. And I think that um, is correct more often than not. So the other factor that you're gonna wanna look at is the sizing of the equipment. So if you get an air conditioner that is too big for your home, it's actually gonna cause a lot of problems. It's gonna die earlier than it was otherwise intended to die. Um, it's probably gonna freeze up um, meaning that the whole thing, it can't take all the cooling that's creating and pushing into your house and the whole thing turns into a block of ice. That's a big problem. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, and when that happens, it can, it can break things. So your brand new air conditioner can turn into garbage. You're, you're better, um, you're better to err on the side of something that is slightly too small for your home than you are for something that's too big. If something's a little bit too small, it's not a huge deal. It will often just run for longer and accomplish the same job. However, if you go too small, um, what happens is it can't adequately cool your home. So it really matters. The sizing matters, the price matters, the sizing matters, what company you're dealing with matters. For us here at Furnace USA, we do things a little bit differently. So instead of taking up a whole bunch of your time right, and driving with a commissioned salesperson to your home um, and giving you a quote, uh, you know, uh, on the spot. In reality, this is 2018, and currently we have all the information that we need through the internet, publicly available information that we can collect on your home to generate a quote without coming to your place. So we don't waste people's time. We don't come out to people's places. If they really need us to, we might send somebody for a site visit if there's something. Um, uh, particular about your uh, house or your situation. So for us, you just go on our website, um, you just book an appointment to get uh, uh, just a quick evaluation of your place. We send you back uh, an exact quote of the type of equipment, the size of the equipment based on what we found on uh, online and uh, we go from there. So uh, we also offer different, um, different uh, um, ways that you can get the air conditioner. So instead of just buying it the conventional way of spending X thousands of dollars, with us, you can just spend a monthly fee on a cooling services plan. So what a cooling service plan is, um, you just never have to worry about the equipment again. You just pay your monthly fee. It includes the equipment, it includes the ongoing service, it includes the repairs, the breakdowns. Um, if, if the thing completely catastrophically fails, we'll just come and rip it out and put on a new one. You just pay your monthly fee. So if you ever want to move, no problem. You just buy out the depreciated value of the equipment and the buyout, the, the value of it drops a little bit every year. So we do um, majority cooling service plans. So that's about us. Um, we're Furnace USA. We're all around the country and contact us today, furnaceusa.com.